So this is another vaccine in the armory against the fight against coronavirus. But how good is this Novavax vaccine? There are already five other vaccines out there at the moment. So how does it compare amongst them? And that's what we're going to look at. So let's get into it. Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Miranveer Singh, an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK. And today we're going to be talking about the vaccine produced by a US biotechnology company called Novavax. And the trials that they have done state that it is 95.6% effective against the original COVID-19 virus. That's on par with the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines. But really, how good is it against the new strains, the new mutations that we are seeing against the South African and the UK variants. Well, against the UK variant, known as B117, it is 85.6% effective, so that's pretty good. And against the South African variant, known as the B1351, it is 60% effective. But these are only preliminary data from early clinical trials. So obviously more testing needs to be done in order to get accurate results. So these results were released from phase three trials that were running. And in the UK, they looked at more than 15,000 participants between the ages of 18 to 84. Whereas in South Africa, it was a trial run at a lower level known as a phase two trial with only 4,400 volunteers, so much less. There are currently two other phase three trials running by this company in the United States, as well as in Mexico. Novavax is a protein-based virus. So what does that mean? A protein-based virus is different to the viral vector and it's different to the RNA viruses that we are seeing at the moment. So this is a different type of technology. It works as a protein subunit vaccine. We have seen how mRNA vaccines work and we have seen how viral vector vaccines also work. So how does a protein subunit vaccine work? Well, in the lab, the scientists actually make that protein subunit, the protein subunit which is renowned for coronavirus. And it is that protein that is made into the vaccine and then that is injected into us. And what that does is by putting that protein, that target protein from coronavirus, it stimulates the body's immune response. And as a result of that, we start building antibodies against that coronavirus protein subunit. This protein subunit itself cannot make anyone sick because it is just a single protein subunit. But what Novavax has also done alongside that spike protein, it's also introduced an adjuvant molecule. And this other molecule that they've introduced essentially stimulates the immune response to have an accelerated response to produce those antibodies. And that then signals a cascade of the immune reaction in which it stimulates further antibodies to take place and allows for those memory cells to kick into action and start doing the process that normally happens when we have an infection and we fight an infection and then store that memory of those viruses into those cells. And therefore, if we were to ever encounter that virus, especially with that spike protein, then our body already has memory of it and then is therefore able to spring into action and stimulate another immune response to fight against coronavirus. You're thinking this is another technology. Well, this technology has actually been around for many, many years. So for example, the modern flu vaccine is produced in this way. The HPV virus vaccine is also produced in this way, as well as the hepatitis B vaccines. So we've seen this technology already being used and it's already very successful. But this is the first time in its 20 year history that Novavax has produced a vaccine. And it's also very late to the party of coronavirus vaccines. All the other vaccine companies are already into their phase three trials, whereas Novavax has only just started to do that. Another benefit that Novavax vaccine has is that it only needs to be refrigerated. It doesn't need to be frozen and therefore it doesn't need to be kept at very low temperatures. This vaccine is similar to most of the others, apart from the Johnson & Johnson, which only needs one dose the Novavax itself actually needs two doses spread apart. So in the coming weeks, Novavax is going to be launching 115 clinical trial sites across the USA and Mexico. Their plans there are to continue these phase three trials and recruit 30,000 participants thanks to funding from the US Operation Warp Speed. The purpose of this is to stimulate vaccine production, testing, and get the results that they need to see to see whether this vaccine is safe and effective. Well, I hope this video was interesting. I hope it was informative and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves.